or not? No, you're no. not. No, you're, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. All right, there you go. That's fine. Flair has gone through an evolution where, where he's realized <coughs> that, that counterpicking is not his style. Ness is his style. And yet this matchup is very bad. And yet, and another one that Pi is very good at. <coughs> Definitely doesn't mean Flair cannot do this. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, that dash tank is going to be punished and you got to be teching those. The down tilt was an interesting choice there. <coughs> the spacing control by Palutena in this matchup is just unmatched. It is very difficult to get any of your aerials to land against this character. Very hard to recover as Ness. I, I, I feel for him. PK Fire is one of your better choices for sure. <coughs> Good air dodge by Flare. Pi is just keeping him in that corner, not letting him go to center stage. Finds an opportunity to punish. He should punish right here too. No? Gonna let Flare live today, but the percent is racking up for sure. Yeah, you cannot be doing that. Nope. That air dodge is gonna be caught 11 times out of 10. Air dodging against Pi in general, I, he, he, is, he is catching that. He is, he is reacting to it. He is catching it. My side, he has better range than yours does. What is, what is the comfort range for Ness in this matchup? I genuinely don't believe that one truly exists. You, you have to prey on Palu mistakes. It's, a, it's, it's, just, it's just very rough. And even when you do, he, he did hit that miss space back air, but for, for almost nothing. Because Pi is too good in these situations. Nice reaction to the Nair, no? There should be a big punish. Yeah, there you go. All right, Flair keeping himself in this game. <clears throat> nice to have a back throw that kills at 97 for sure. In on the ledge too long, had to jump to avoid the explosive flame. Pi had the right idea, but just not quite the right spacing. Okay, the back air. Healing off of that is very marginally worth it, yeah. <laughs> Did you really get very much there? I mean, it's it's a defensive option, but it's one you have to cancel immediately because there's just way too lag if you don't get the cancel. <clears throat> one ledge cancel later, Pi is out of dodge. Doesn't even wait to punish the whiff on the yo-yo, just straight up back airs it. He's not worried. Oh. Here come the up airs. Okay. Once again, the air dodge caught. Unfortunately, Nair kind of betraying Pi a little bit there, but he is still solidly in control. Ooh, just outspacing the down tilt, but not the explosive flame. And this would be a pretty monumental comeback for Flair in this situation. Does a better job of dealing with the explosive flame that time. This back throw should not kill, yeah. Okay, Pi a little inaccurate on the edge guard attempt, but it's, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Commentators seem too close to the players. I agree with you, but I that's that wasn't my decision. I agree. I agree with that, Jacob. I don't like hearing the commentators when I'm playing. <laughs> I try to be like, in these situations, less like, here's what I would be doing. Which I can sometimes, sometimes I do on commentary, but. Okay, a really nice start from Flair though. Fortunately not respecting the Nair off ledge and all that damage he got at the beginning has been taken back and more. Okay. 
that dash attack is one of the few ways you can genuinely be punishing Calatanus options. It is a great dash attack, but unsafe on shield and pretty unsafe on whip. Uh, you just need to not be challenging it. And unfortunately, you should die here because the down tilt, yeah, is going to be it. Yep. If you don't know, you get more than a two frame window on Ness's PK Thunder. And Palutena's down tilt has like 18 active frames at ledge. So it is not too hard. And unfortunately, a really rough situation, but a great stall. He dropped that PK Thunder lower, specifically to mess up Pi's timing. Ness has a lot of options to stall his timings in a lot of situations, but that's just where Pi is too good of a player. He's seen he's seen all these tricks before. Yeah, okay. Pi was a little over anxious to punish that and kind of forgot that up smash hits up. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, that was a, a very aggressive PK fire that's going to get punished. Not quite for death, but... As Ness, he can DI out of that combo at that percent, I believe, so they're not holding away quite well enough. It's rough, though. It's rough out here. There's just no escape from this monster. Yeah, I... There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no escape. Where, where are you safe? Flair is suffering the same fate, but he is not going to switch off of Ness because this is who he mains now. He is not going around. Oh, it, for sure it is trash for Ness. Absolutely. But Pi is com uh, Flair is committed to this character, and despite being down 2-0, we are going to see him try to reverse 3-0. Oh man, why does that move trip? It, in, in, no, in no reality should, should that move trip. Uh, auto reticle is dumb. I don't care. Okay. Got the nice juicy hitbox there. Pelotena's uh, teleport definitely is susceptible to yo-yo, but uh, that requires you knowing the timing and spacing of Pi's teleport choices well enough. This is going well though. Flair is right in this game. He's putting Pi in a situation where he has to be the aggressor a little bit more. And that's not where Palutena shines in this matchup. That is not going to kill, but still a great start to this game. That explosive flame hilariously uh, just did that. And Those retreating PK fires onto side platforms is definitely a flare specialty. Um, they are very hard to punish for sure. Didn't quite jump high enough to get it there. Even you see the auto reticle not fast enough to punish in that situation. I wonder if Pi thought maybe he would get a shield poke on that situation there, but uh, fortunately dash attack wasn't quite an option select yet. Okay, good reaction by Flair. But how are you going to get around down tilt? You are not. Oh, but he just had enough iframes on the on the uh, air dodge there. <coughs> Flair is playing a lot more discerningly now. He is going to take the back air, but his spacing and decision making are are improving right before our eyes. Okay, really nice read there. Of course, Palutena's want those uh, teleport cancels. And Flair was just all on top of that. Unfortunately, the Nair is going to beat out the yo-yo attempt. Reads the air dodge, does Pi. Didn't, didn't want to go for that third up air.
Yeah, Pi even read the PK fire in that situation, and the auto reticle still was not punishing there. And nice recovery by Flair. Pi usually converts when he goes off like that. Oh man, but he is he is testing Flair's patience, but Flair's passing the test, and he's gonna catch the hive teleport with another up smash. Ah uh, yeah, Flair is playing so much more solid now. Uh, and, and honestly, mostly is because he's just had the lead this whole game. He has been in a position where he can play back and force Pi to be the aggressor, which changes the dynamic of any given matchup a lot. Definitely changes the dynamic of this one because it's really hard to approach Palutena, but Flair is playing defensively and doing so brilliantly well. Yeah, you can see that Pi is getting a little bit anxious to get these kills. Kind of a misspaced back air there. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well. Fortunately, the air dodge was a little bit short, and Palutena has no problem getting all this damage back. And gonna just teleport past the yo yo there again. You can only really commit to the teleport when you know Palutena has to go to the ledge, otherwise, that teleport is uh, free stage positioning for Pi. Okay, he's gonna land the. PK fire. Oh yeah, I like the idea of the up air there, but Pi had it covered. Oh no, I, ooh, I don't know about that explosive flame. The scary part is, okay, the back air is gonna kill. Flare's on the board. Flair grabbed an early lead and played defensively really well throughout the course of that game. The Zinnia theme, that's the that's the Pi classic. If you give him if you give him the music counter pick, <laughs> you are you are gonna hear this song. Oh, get a point blank PK fire is big punish. Yeah, absolutely. Don't know why auto reticle aims where it aims sometimes. I, that move has a mind of its own and I'll never understand it. Oh no, unfortunate. Okay. Okay, yep. Forward air under dash attack, classic bread and butter for Palutena. Now you're in the air against Pi. Ooh, man, I feel like Pi didn't pull the trigger there on a reactable uh, air dodge, which is understandable, but Pi is also just so good at catching those. Speaking of catching those, the jump is gonna be caught. And it's another lead for Flair. Air is gonna seal the deal. Sorry, I can't. Trying to watch the player's screen right now, as you can see. Okay, the falling up air into the F tilt. Doubt he meant to do that, but didn't have a true combo there anyway. The air dodgers are so on point for Flair right now. He is timing them so perfectly. You have to air dodge against her pressure too. Trying to challenge with a hitbox is not gonna work whatsoever. Pi is getting hit by a lot of these platform PK fires. And not able to hit the up air tech chase either. Pi with some uncharacteristic misses, but not gonna hit the tech chase either. Is gonna punish PK fire with explosive flame. And there you see Flair mixing up his options. Twice in a row, he had a choice after the missed explosive flame. The first time, he he ran in to bait an approach, but then jumped back, PK fired. The second time, he called out a jump with the forward air. That makes it really ambiguous uh, how exactly he's gonna move. And of course, since Ness has such good air mobility, uh, he's an excellent character to be playing in that fashion. 
Hey, the dash attack is going to land. Kind of a risky choice because any missed dash attack, ugh, any missed dash attack should be a kill. The dash attack is going to be a kill too, though. Flair is feeling himself in this moment. Okay, really nice pivot grab, though. Forces the high recovery, but once again, Pi unable to punish the air dodge landing. And that is big damage once again. And get, does catch the tail to keep himself safe. Flair is mixing up his choices and just playing so well right now. Really, really solid defense from Flair. And it is almost a two stock at this point. Wow, the, I don't know if the reverse up, there, up smash is what he was going for, but. The order was too early and that is a two stock for Flair. many a mess away from this character. Well, I guess it's just me now, but still. Game five situation. Final destination. Normally not where Pi likes to go. I think he recognized though that the platforms were being used better by Flair than by him in these situations. Um, he wasn't getting a lot of his own platform tech chases and Meanwhile, Flair was using them for his retreating PK fires really well. Okay, catches that jump with Nair. Bad situation for Ness to be in. Back air should hit, yep. Should be an easy down tilt into a back air. Not quite the kill, but this is classic pie in this matchup. Not letting you breathe whatsoever, you're dead, yeah. Pi had all the options covered there. That's what I'm used to seeing out of our number one seed. Okay. Oh, wow. Really good, well-timed uh, spot dodge. Ooh, the down air isn't going to lead to anything. Juggle situations are so rough. Yeah. Now Pi is catching is catching the air dodges way better than he was before. Unfortunately, he is gonna lose a stock and because of the bounce off the wall, Flair is still alive. I think Pi thought he had the options covered there because the shortened distance was gonna kill Ness, but he had just enough distance to bounce off of the stage. Still a big lead for Pi. Yeah. Air to airing with Palutena usually does not go your way. Wastes his air dodge in that situation. This should be a free down tilt. Good DI by Flair. But what are you going to do? You have to get out. And there you go. Pi knew that he was going to do the, the float away once again. And this time was all over it decisively going for that option. And now you're getting aired. Unfortunate that you had to take that 40 off of ledge. Yeah. And this counter pick is working out quite well. I, I think he correctly identified that the platforms were working out so well. And that is unfortunately going to be the end of the game. Pi, yeah, that, that's the pie I'm used to in that matchup. Really good fight by Flair.